you. Welcome to Live Stage TV. We're sitting here with Skid and Cass from Skankanasi. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Sweden, guys. Is this, when was the last time you played in Sweden? Um, I think it's about 13 years. 12 to 13 years ago. I think 1999. So, wow. yeah, it's so a while. Wow. Yeah, 1997, something like that. Do you remember? Was it like a festival or like a... No, it was like a really small place, actually. We played in Stockholm. We played in, is it Malmö? Malmo? Malmo? Yeah. yeah, we played there it's and um, yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, it was brilliant. We actually were successful in Sweden first before any other country. Okay. I don't know what's happened. <laughs> 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 but yeah, but you reunited in 2009 and did the record now this summer. Um, when you did the record, was it just naturally because it's been like 10 years? You, you all agreed how it should sound or? Yeah, to be quite honest, it was quite a really easy, pro writing songs was an easy process and that's I think why the band continued and at first we were just going to do it a, a greatest hit, which felt a bit nostalgic for us, you know, we're not really, we're kind of forward thinking kind of people, we're not really into doing the big kind of like lighters and nostalgia and oh, remember the 90s, we're not really about that, we're much more interested in what's going on now. So um, I think for us it was just the way that <clears throat> Excuse me. The way it was just so easy to write songs and to have the chemistry there, it was just a natural progression to, to keep going. Because we all were on the same vibe, we had, uh, physically and mentally, you know, we really looked hard to ourselves. And I think we all just kind of missed the band and so we had a lot more respect for it when we came back this time around. The new record now that came out this summer, tell us about that. Yeah, the new album, uh, Wonderluster. Um, well, as Skin said, the, the writing process was surprisingly easy. Yeah, and stress-free. Hard work, of course, because it's, a, it's never easy and we always have a kind of constraint on ourselves, time limit. But, uh, but given all of that, it was really easy to write. And the most important thing for us was to have an album with really good songs. And uh, that's what I think we achieved. I think we achieved an album with 12 potential singles. And that, that's the main thing that we went for, because when you're not in a band, for, for nine years, you know, you, everyone else has developed their craft and developed what they're doing over a few albums. We just kind of had to, we had a few weeks or a few months to develop ourselves, you know? Yeah, to do nine to years do, like, of development, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nine years of work in just a few months. Um, and we did it, you know, but I think it's going to develop even more with the next album. I think now it's, this year we're kind of more up and running and, you know, I think we're better than we ever were. Um, and I think Wonderluster is really, um, it's a fresh sound for Skunk and As Cass said, it's all about the songs and it's a very insular album. And I think the next album is going to be a little bit more, we've been out, we're back being a band now and we can um, be a bit more, ex ex a bit more cre creative stuff, a bit more uh, experimental and stuff. And, and uh, the album received so well by the critics and uh, you must be thrilled. I'm delighted, actually. Makes a change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought they were talking about another band. <laughs> yeah, I've yet to read one bad review about from our album, and that was really nice because it is a good album, so it's not like it's not accurate. But normally, you know, people can, you know, miss that point and just be wandering off into other viewpoints that are not really correct. So um, it's, it's, we were, we're very proud of it. We're very proud that we came back with a great album because we didn't want to be playing new songs and have everyone be like waiting for the nah, old yeah, songs, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know, we wanted the whole show that we're playing tonight in Sweden. We want the whole show to be top quality, no down moments. And some of the new songs actually go down better than some of the old songs, like Ugly Boy. You know? I also think that's a lot to do with all our audiences changed as well. We've still got our old guard, the old school audience who've been with us from before, but we've also developed this new audience, a much younger audience, and so they're more uh, familiar with the new material than the old material. It, I think, I think um, the whole internet um, revolution definitely kept us alive while we weren't playing as a band together yeah. and so yeah we've come into a brand new market which is wonderful but you, you um you have seen as a very great live band that you're great for festivals and a live stage there uh do you like already in the writing process like think of this has got to be awesome at a, like a festival or no we don't write like that really um <clears throat> excuse me we we just kind of write in a very um we just kind of pick good stuff and write in a way that we, we record the stuff that makes us sparkle, you know, makes us feel something. Because we know we're just like everybody else. If we're feeling something, everybody else is going to feel it too, you know. Um, we've got lots of festival songs already, you know. We, I think when it comes to festivals, big rock bands are, are great. And we've got all those songs, so we don't really need to... Um, be too scared about that. I think for us it's just making sure that everything we, we get 
and everything we do is done at a very high quality. Yeah, and that, I think that that's the that is the the secret to being a good live band as well. Is if your material gives you the spark, if you feel inspired when you're playing it, then you're going to perform well, and you perform well, you're a good live band. Yeah.